Felice Capodanno. Happy New Year. Welcome to the beautiful Bella San Luci Test Kitchen. I have these wonderful ingredients here. We're going to cook Roma Campanaro's submission to the recipe contest for sun-dried tomato crab cakes. And it's crab season. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new way to get cooking. And let's do it. So, we have all these wonderful ingredients, but they're very few, and we'll be able to taste all of these flavors in such a simple recipe, which I love. I love Italians for their simplicity in their recipes. This is our egg. We have capers. And we have lemon juice, so in a way it's a piccata or a little bit of a hollandaise kind of base. And here are the Bella San Luci sun-dried tomatoes in our pesto with pine nuts, walnuts, basil, garlic, and it's great in everything. It's great on pizza, in pasta, and now crab cakes. Here's some basil, and here's some parsley, and here's some mayonnaise. So this will be rich. Parmesan and garlic powder. We'll stir that up. The recipe says stir up all of the ingredients except for the crab and the breadcrumbs and then put them in so that the crab doesn't break up into the sauce and you have pieces of crab when you eat them. So here's the breadcrumbs and the one pound of crab with its claws. Boom, boom, boom. Stir that up, fold it together gently. And now, we want to make six different balls and get them onto a sheet pan. One of the differences that I've done with this recipe is I'm gonna use parchment on a sheet pan and I'm gonna drizzle olive oil on top instead of spraying because the parchment helps it not stick. So let's get our sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And let's eye out six even cakes. You know what else uh, these are great for? Is um, a crab burger or a slider. And also, if you make a crab cake, it's wonderful as Eggs Benedict at brunch. It's one of my favorite dishes ever. I'm going to use this spatula to press these down into cakes so that they cook more evenly. When I drizzle the olive oil on top of these, some of it will go underneath after it gets hot. All right, so a little bit of olive oil drizzled on top to get the effect of the broiling. And we'll get these in the oven. They are beautifully cooked, nice color. And now let's get one out to practice our garnishing. Oh, look at that, it came out perfect. Right onto the plate there. And I think we'll garnish with some lemon. And I saved aside some parsley and basil from inside. Normally, some people like to have an aioli or a mayonnaise or a remoulade or a tartar sauce for crab cakes. Because the mayo is inside and the capers and the lemon, we feel like it's inside, I do. And so we're just gonna do a simple, clean, fresh garnish of lemon, parsley, and basil. Very Italian, very fresh and clean. Okay, chef, Roma Campanaro. Grazie for your recipe. Everyone else, please submit your recipes to bellasanlucci.com for our recipe contest. Buon appetito, arrivederci.